Well, they come as if from outer space in a variety of weird guises. Defender, Pac-Man, asteroids. To fans, they represent a challenge. But to critics, as Terry Drinkwater reports, they are a menace. Come on in. It's almost another world here in the video arcades of America. A billion games are played every month, a quarter each for escape, which can last a long time if you're skilled. Pitch yourself against the computer. Millions, mostly teenagers, have. So many, in fact, that psychologists are beginning to worry that some youths are becoming spaced out on the space games. You can't get hooked on it. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> it keeps on making you play the game. Once you start to play it for a while, you keep, you keep on playing it. Any normal person would want to beat the machine. <laughs> and you come back? Oh, sure. Again? Oh, sure. <laughs> Again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Many cities have reacted by making the arcades off-limits to all under 17 from 8 to 3. This is the after-school rush in Oakland. Long hours at the screens, psychologists say, can lead to extreme introversion. Youngsters communicating in a video fantasy land and not with their peers or parents. It's not addictive in the sense of a drug dependency where you're going to have withdrawal symptoms, but it is physically you can become physically dependent upon it because you get an arousal and then a relaxation response it's the same as a roller coaster or gambling or playing cards intensely many teenagers are frank in admitting their dependency well it's the moving lights partly some of these games are really hard to do it just takes a lot of skill hand-eye coordination and it doesn't cost as much as some other things and it's legal yeah it's addictive it is <laughs> Because you sit there and you just want to play it more and more. We don't really prefer to use the word addictive. We think it's associated with negative, uh, negative connotations. We prefer to use the term compelling and highly popular, which obviously they are. And the manufacturers add they teach a bit about computers, too. This is the current craze game, Pac-Man. I like the little man. He's really neat. He eats up all the other things, you know. How about that Pac-Man song that I hear around here all the time? Yeah, you sing it, you sing it a lot, you hum it. <laughs> Indeed, and play it on the jukebox at full volume. Psychologists remind us every younger generation has to have something to scare adults. Right now, all of this is certainly it. Terry Drinkwater, CBS News, San Francisco.